All right, YouTube, I'm going to do a nice quick review for you guys here of this uh, Nifty Lift TM 34T. Um, it's a Nifty Lift. The TM uh, stands for trailer model. This one's mounted on a trailer, as you can see. You can tow behind your car or truck or SUV or whatever you have. 34 foot is the working height, and T means the telescoping boom. As you can see, it has, I'll do a little quick walk around here first. It weighs um, a little over 3,000 pounds. It can lift in its bucket about 500 pounds, well, exactly 500 pounds. Um, yeah. You have outriggers here that you put down, and um, you got to make sure that it's nice and level. I'll show you that real quick. When you put the outriggers down, uh, you got a level here, and you, you put the bubbles in the middle, just like any other level. Um, this machine is powered by a Honda GX160, which is I thought would be a really small engine um, for this machine, but it, it works just fine. You can run it half throttle at idle, and it'll still just lift it the same. Plenty of power. These things are loud, though. Um, it is equipped with electric start, but it uh, doesn't really work with this machine, which... Out of any of the machines, I, I would think this one would probably be the one that you'd want it to work in. Um, under this cover here, you have a battery, like a car battery right here. Um, the engine runs a hydraulic pump. There's a big lead concrete weight in there and a transformer inverter um, back in there and a hydraulic reservoir. So when you go to work the machine here, when you're just setting up, you got to disconnect the trailer, obviously. And you got to set your um, tire, trailer tire brake there. Um, here's your outrigger controls. Um, one, each one is for a different outrigger. You can see the chart here. And uh, up is up, down is down. Um, but when you control it, you have to push. It takes two hands to operate this. You got to push that one down, and whatever ones you're controlling here. I've already set it up here, so when I go to show you guys in video, it's a little easier. Um, yeah. It's got uh, like uh, this weird braking system. If uh, the trailer runs away, it pulls the brakes on. But yeah. All right, let's get started. Um, you have um, more hydraulic controls here. These are your ground controls, pretty much, if you're working on the ground. And um, say you want to put a couple tools in this bucket here and bring it up to somebody up higher, uh, you can do that here. Uh, you have all operations of it except the telescope part. Um, which uh, that's only you can only control the telescope boom inside the trailer um, And just like the hydraulics over there where you have to push the safety down first this one does it too uh, This is the safety button down here You push that in with one hand and you got to control it with this uh, Yeah, this is also equipped with an emergency hydraulic pump right here You just push down the lever you're using or push up the lever you're using and pump it by hand it's missing the little thing that doesn't. I'll let you read some of that specs up there so you can see what it's capable of. I would tell you the data is made, but it's uh, kind of blurred out. You got a spare tire over here. All hydraulic and all electric. All the booms are equipped with locking uh, mechanisms. So, say, like you have an engine failure or power failure the thing isn't going to come crashing to the ground because you lose hydraulic pressure. Um, what the, how it lifts is you got to get your main boom which is right there that's got a hydraulic cylinder that lifts up and you got the secondary boom which lifts up also and your telescoping boom which is in here and it you can see it's a little track that it drags and it, it extends I think about six to ten feet um, so yeah like I said, uh, we'll go ahead and get started here. It's uh, equipped with a... Uh, actually, I'm going to grab this key over here so I can show you the ground controls first. And then we can go up and do the, gr the big controls up top and go up with it. Um, yeah. Alright, let's... Uh, like I said, you gotta, you got to have the key in either one, whichever one you're going to control. That's kind of annoying. Um, I'm going to run it a little quieter at idle, but it'll, it goes faster. 
And I can use electric start, but I'm going to just pull it. This is going to be kind of difficult because I got to control it with one hand and uh, push the button in with one hand and uh, use the controls with the other. So, first control is your main boom. so many safety things on I gotta figure out what I'm doing wrong here. Probably gotta do something up here. Hmm. Kinda weird to see if it works up here. I'll get back to you guys once I figure it out. Alright you guys we are back now. Um, I figured I was wrong. It was just one of the safety switches up there. It needs a little jiggling. Um, so, uh, yeah. I'm going to set you guys up on a tripod here so you can uh, see this a little better. Um, I think this will work out a little better. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to get you guys to see it. Right, so you can see the boom there. I'll just pull you out. You can see here's the main boom lift. Be a little bit more gas for you guys. like that and uh, the last one here is the rotate and I'll let you see that real quick rotates the boom pretty much Uh, let me uh, go get this, put this inside the boom here and we can go up. Alright YouTube, you guys are now inside the uh, box here. Um, before we go up, uh, I was going to say there is a little cylinder underneath you here that automatically levels the bucket so you don't fall out. Um, it is an option to tilt the bucket as you can see on this hydraulic. Um, but uh, it's not in this one, so, yeah. Um, you got, uh, this is your emergency shutoff. Uh, there's a light and a horn inside this unit that uh, warns you for tipping. Uh, this is your key, which I'll have to get here shortly. Um, this is your electric start. If you had it, you can shut it off. But uh, the electric start doesn't work on this one. And this is your safety switch, like the one uh, down there. I have to get this key real quick. Give me a second. Sorry, you guys. I'm not the best uh, man with the operator there is. Um, for this one, as I said, this one's the bucket. I guess you can control it if you do it right there. Um, you have um, your telescope, your main boom control, your secondary boom, and your rotate. And uh, this bar right here that you flip up and down the can. So uh, what you want to do is uh, stick that in there. I believe it's
it's already on here because this machine's kind of faulty. But uh, yeah. Because I cannot control and uh, hold the camera at the same time. You guys are going to be on a tripod and hopefully you can see some of this. But uh, first, let's do the main boom here. You want to hit that button and hold it down always. And uh, this is the main boom. Up is up, down is down. You can see we are going up. And uh, it does say the working height is 34 feet, but uh, it's a little bit more than that. I think it's like 42 or so. And uh, as you just felt there, it, it stops you from going over your tip limit. There's a, a circumference around the machine that you can go and it knows it and it'll stop you from going over it so you don't tip. So now that we've hit that limit, we'll use the second boom here. As you'll see, it's gonna still level out the machine here. And uh, let's see. Um, I'm up in near this tree here and there's this room, limb in the way. I'll let you guys look down here. We're pretty high up. Um, so I gotta rotate the machine here. Get out of this limb here, so it rotates this one. Or this one here. And uh, it's pretty easy to operate. This machine can get a little dangerous. Um, it's kind of it's well used, I'll say that. So the like the, the pins and stuff are a little bit shaky and rattly. And being up this high, this above, corrugated steel is kind of sketchy. You can see. Um, so, uh, we'll do this here. Keep going up, I guess. And uh, this one right here, that's your telescope. That's that, that little tiny boom right there, that gray part, and it telescopes about uh, 10 to 6 foot, 6 to 10 foot I think it is, and you can just hit it, and it, you can see, make it so you can see, you hit that, and it sort of slides you out there, which that's good if you're trying to get something close, because that's a little, uh, you can move it a little bit slower than the other ones. I'm going to move over here somewhere where we can get a, maybe a little higher. This way. Sorry, right. I'm trying to get you guys a good camera angle, but it's kind of difficult. As you can see, this thing is very rocky. It is kind of sketchy. If you don't like heights, don't do it. Let's keep rotating here. I might be able to go up a little. I haven't reached, to be honest, I haven't reached the maximum height of this thing because uh, A, I have no need to just yet because there's a tree um, I'm working on and I haven't got that high. B, it's kind of sketchy being that high. So, uh, go a little higher maybe. Work down here. I'm not going to go any higher than this. Um, but way down there, it looks way down there is where the man lift is, and I'm all the way up here in this here tree. But it is thundering now, so I'm going to head down because I do not want to be up in this thing when it is thundering. Probably not the best idea, but you can see it goes up really high. Goes on down here. Sorry about that. Like I said, you're in corrugated seal, so my tripod goes right through it. Up 
bumpy as you go down for some reason. Alright, so I'll come back to you when it's not thundering and lightning outside here. Just a little passing storm. And uh, I'll put the camera on the ground and I'll let you guys see it from there. Alright YouTube, so the storm is gone. Um, I figured I'd give you like a little aerial view or whatnot uh, from a distance. Because I know the, the previous video was kind of hard to, the previous clip was kind of hard to see in the being in the bucket. It's kind of hard to, um, there's not much room on there so setting up a tripod is kind of hard to do on there. And since you got to have two hands to operate it, uh, it's hard to hold a camera. So uh, I'll be a quick aerial view here. I left some of the bucket in view so hopefully you guys can see me. Let's start it up.
you guys. I hope you guys were able to see some of that. Um, I went up pretty high there. I don't really like going up high in that thing. It's kind of, like I said earlier, it's kind of, it's not the most fun thing to do. Not the most fun thing to do being up that high. I couldn't imagine like a hundred foot lift or a sixty foot lift. That lift goes high enough for me, for my liking at least. It gets a little shaky up there. But uh, yeah, um, the only difficulty uh, some of you guys uh, might encounter, like using this machine, um, if you have a like a lighter duty truck, um, this does have a, a big tongue weight, so that means it puts a lot of down pressure on the hitch, pretty much. Um, it, it puts 600 pounds down on the hitch, which uh, I know that maxes out my truck over there, and um, I can haul 5,000 pounds and um, with a 600 pound tongue weight. So weight wise I'm good, but the tongue weight is a little, a little close to my liking. But yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.